used to watch BL in public. So I received an interesting comment a few videos back. Josh Sensei help. I've fallen and I can't get up. I've been watching the BL series Addicted Heroine but it was discontinued. Like bro, why? Anyways, what are your thoughts about Addicted and what might you recommend on watching next? You can't just bring up Addicted and expect me to pretend like everything's fine. This beautiful legend, this masterpiece and the terrible fate that it suffered. So let me tell you what Addicted is all about. The story revolves around two classmates, Bai Lo Yin and Gu Hai who come from two different worlds. Bai Lo Yin from a poor background raised by a single father and Gu Hai from a loaded family and a lot of tension with his father who has remarried. Fate brings these two boys together. What starts as simple teasing from Gu Hai's side ends up blossoming into an unbreakable bond between these two. I don't know. I don't know where to start when it comes to this BL web series because this was it. You know, this was the first Chinese BL drama that I ever watched. Because back in 2016, this was what set the bar so high. Because this was before we got all the nice Taiwanese dramas that we're enjoying now. Like, it's still so fresh in my head because I remember I used to go to make tea with my junior, bring my laptop to use their Wi-Fi just to watch weekly episodes of this. Come to think of it, I used to watch BL in public. I had the balls. Even my junior who's not a BL fan ended up enjoying this drama so much for so many reasons, I'll have to say that the actors did an amazing job portraying the characters. The chemistry between our two leads was the best, is the best that I've ever seen in any drama, BL or non-BL. Speaking about the actors, we had Timmy playing Bai Lo Yin and Huang Johnny playing Gu Hai, which I have to say this, I always have to say this, doesn't Gu Hai look like that member from 2PM? I know 16 year old me is going to be so pissed that I don't remember his name, but back in my day there was this K-pop group called 2PM. And one of the actors that acted in Dream High or Sky High, Dream High, it was the teenage music and Korean drama thingy thing. The resemblance is uncanny. I was so invested in this series because of how natural they were, especially Guhai's personality. He had that typical, you know, he teases the one that he likes. In fact, enjoy some of my favorite pranks they played on each other. <笑>我操 Can you see what I mean by they're so natural? I didn't even need them to kiss or have a spicy hot bed scene, which we will get eventually, but they already had me hooked with just their chemistry. And it was their first time acting, so they pulled it off really well. They didn't have a single cringy moment. I swear by this, for an Asian BL drama, not a single cringy moment. There's a reason why people still talk about it to this day. It was so good that even China ended up banning it. Yes, this low-budget BL web series ended up getting a huge positive reception. I mean, it was one of the most watched web series on all sorts of sites back then. So naturally, it did attract the Chinese authorities' attention, their censorship board. And three episodes before the season finale, they ended up removing it from all streaming sites for homosexual and explicit content. So we never got a proper ending, we never got a season 2, we were left hanging with whatever that last episode was, all because of China. Why? You wanna fight with me? You said it, is it? You wanna fight with me, is it? Huh? Why you wanna chari pasal with me? <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. And if that wasn't enough, they ended up banning interactions between our two lead actors. <laughs> some say banned, some say they were not encouraged by their agencies, but whatever it is, it's 
stupid. It's ridiculous. And what about the side couple? I need some sort of closure for that. I could not have been the only one who was rooting for them. And despite achieving international fame and success, they still had to face the consequences of being a part of this controversy. The show was cancelled, the variety shows that they filmed were cancelled, the actors were not allowed to interact with each other, and they didn't receive any new drama offers. So I can imagine that it must have been a tough time for these actors. And like I said, it was their first time. I just don't want to imagine how hard it must have been. So they had to start from scratch to get to where they are now. I do occasionally check on what the actors are up to now and it's nice to see that Timmy is doing well but it's just sad to see an amazing drama like Addicted suffering such a terrible fate. I did see rumors of season 2 being filmed in Taiwan. It was shared on SNS by the original author of the novel but I don't without the same cast. I know some people would be like, you have to give it a chance, but the reason this web series was so successful and big is because of the cast. And I don't think they'll be able to achieve that same thing if they were to use a different cast, you know? But I have a plan. Come close. We are going to go to China and we're going to convert Winnie the Pooh into a Fudanshi. That's the only way we can get Addicted Season 2 with the same cast, if we bring him to our side. And to the original comment that was asking for similar drama recommendations, there's none. I can't give you any because this is one of a kind and you're gonna have to suffer with me. We're gonna go to China together, we're gonna convert Winnie the Pooh into Fudanshi together. For those who haven't watched it, you must watch it to partake in this mission. We're gonna go to China and convert Brainwash Winnie the Pooh. You have to know our mission. But that's it, you know? That's the least we can do, soldier.